So this is a time lapse of a drawing of a VW bug. I did it Speedway Auto Wrecking in Tacono, Colorado. And I'm using, the pen I'm using here is a uh, Hero M86 Fude nib or bent nib fountain pen with platinum carbon ink, which is a waterproof uh, black ink that's also, from what I understand, light fast, fairly light fast, fairly archival. Uh, the real time sort of amount of time that this drawing took was about 28 minutes. So it's been sped up four times. And um, I only use two tools in this. I'm using this Hero pen and then a little bit later you'll see me pull out the trusty uh, Kuratake water brush filled with a diluted Noodler's Lexington Gray ink. So as you're watching me sort of pick out the shapes and find the shapes of this VW bug, which is right in front of me here at the junkyard. I uh, notice that I continue to sort of correct my lines as I go, especially just there on that roof line of the beetle. And also, uh, if you look at the sort of the top of the windshield on the left hand side, and I, those corrections don't bother me particularly much, you know, those little mistakes and things like that. Uh, I find that if you really complete the drawing, if you execute and make it feel finished, by the end, nobody's going to really be being, paying attention to those things and I, I also sort of like the the quality that those give a drawing is those little errors and corrections um, they give it the line a little bit more spontaneity a little bit more life rather than sort of being clinically accurate all the time which if I go a little bit slower even if I don't do a pre-drawing in pencil, but if I go a little bit slower, I can get a little probably more precise and a little more accurate to begin with. But I really wanted to finish this drawing um, relatively quickly. Uh, the idea was that at some point I'd post a real-time video of this with narration. And then looking at 28 minutes, I still think that was too long. So that's why I'm doing a time lapse. Uh, but maybe I will upload the... Uh, the real-time video at some point somewhere. So now we're sort of working on the background and coming in and adding some detail. Notice that I hold the pen upside down from its typical orientation to get the really, really fine lines for the hatching and the, the smaller details. But otherwise, uh, I hold it the sort of the normal way and you can get some really fine lines just by holding it a little bit more perpendicular to the page. Uh, and then the stronger of an angle I hold it in relationship to the page, excuse me, the less of an angle, I guess, the more parallel to the surface of the page, uh, the wider the line will be. So now I'm drawing some of the background stuff. There's an old pickup truck, and then there's an old sedan, and behind that there was an old van, and uh, just sort of really loosely looking at the major values, the darks and lights trying to get those in there and there's this other very old car that's up on top of these little sort of cement highway dividers that have been stacked up um, in the yard and um, and then there's a little some sort of little 50s looking car underneath that so at this point I think I break out yeah here we go the water brush so I'm starting to add some of the value some of the little rust spots and buffed off paint spots that are especially on the front end of this VW bug um, and this is a Kuretake water brush as I said before that's filled with a Noodler's Lexington gray fountain pen ink and that gray fountain pen ink is diluted with water um, to the point where it's probably I'd say at least three quarters water and uh, a quarter uh, ink. It's a technique I learned from Ed Mosley, um, who I met in uh, Manchester in 2016, and he was the one that showed me you could put the diluted Lexington Gray in a water brush. And uh, I think his real name is Ed Harkey, I believe, but he goes by Ed Mosley as his handle on Instagram. And uh, the nice thing about this ink is it's kind of waterproof, so you can layer it. Um, meaning once it's dry you can go back on top of it and get a little darker um, so the more you layer the, the darker you can get I actually have two water brushes that are the same kind but one is filled with uh, 
slightly lighter dilution of the ink and the other one is filled with a darker one it kind of saves me a little time if I can get darker right away sometimes but it's also nice to have the option of having a very light value for very subtle uh, differences in value that you you can find especially if a vehicle is light colored and you don't want to make it look too dark so I'm adding a little bit more value into the landscape um, trying to indicate the ground plane and also maybe indicate a little bit of the curvature that sort of fisheye look that I like um, when you sit really close to something like a car and you try to capture the entirety of it that that so-called fisheye, uh, what we call distortion, which I don't really believe is distortion, but um, that that bubbly effect, that wide angle effect that we all know so well, uh, happens just by virtue of you attempting to put all of this information on the page. Um, and if you try to do that with a lot of other things too, you can't sort of help but curve that space to fit everything in because everything sort of on the edges of the page is further away from the viewer than the stuff that's in the center. So naturally you sort of have to curve it to kind of squeeze it into that space. And uh, that curvature is just sort of a natural um, progression of me sort of understanding how to reconcile lots and lots of space with the uh, a rectangular picture plane. Um, so I've been kind of playing with this for years and years and years. And it's very fun to do, especially on cars, which already have lots of fun irregular shapes. Uh, especially these beetles, which are already kind of bubbly, fisheye looking vehicles to begin with. So here I am using the fountain pen to kind of uh, add a little bit more detail towards the end and uh, really emphasize some of those little rust spots and things like that. Uh, then I sign and date, or in this case just date, and there's just a proof that I'm right there in front of that VW. And that's it.